Hi, I'm Dr. Fritz Sutter. I'm going to talk about some antioxidants uh, in our future blogs, and we're going to start off with a, one that's been around for thousands of years, which is curcumin. Curcumin is a derivative of turmeric, which of course is the favorite, the Indian favorite in curry. It's been consumed over probably millennia. Uh, and probably about 10 years ago, they, they discovered that folks in India really just didn't get cognitive decline as they got older, as most other cultures do. So the dementia and Alzheimer's disease really wasn't at the same level, and they really boiled it down to this being the routine consumption of turmeric. Now curcumin is the most prominent and active agent of turmeric, and we had I've used, been using this for many years. I've tried a bunch of different kinds, and the one we, we like to use actually has the essential oil in it. So the essential oil actually slows the, uh, the degradation of it in the blood. So it'll absorb just as quickly, but it'll keep it there for four and a half to five hours as opposed to regular curcumin, which will actually not peak much earlier than that, and then be basically gone by four or five hours. Uh, the product that we use, actually called BCM95, um, biocurcumin 95 is 95% and about seven to nine percent is the essential oil. Now there's a million studies going on literally uh, because this has ac actually caught the eye of many scientists because it has so many antioxidant, anti-cancer, helps mood, helps your GI tract, and of course the big interest in why it helps with dementia. Uh, one of the most important aspects of it is how tolerable is it? Now you can take regular doses 500 milligrams which is one capsule twice a day. Now, you can take eight grams a day, which is, of course, you know, what, what, what's the math on that, is 16 capsules of what we take uh, very safely for months and months and months with no problems. Can cause some GI issues if you take it on empty stomach at very high doses. So the best thing to do is take it with food. The reason I'm excited about it is that there were studies that were performed particularly for joint issues where people had both osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis, where the, the addition of curcumin in a relatively short period of time of six to eight weeks actually made a significant difference in their pain and quality of life. So, and the other things are just uh, remarkable in that, you know, if you're, in a, if you're struggling with mood, you can take curcumin. If uh, you have gut issues, you can take curcumin. If you have arthritis, you can take curcumin. And these are what has been studied so far. Baylor is doing a major initiative on that and they have ongoing research that I'm sure will be tantalizing us with their outcomes over the next few months. Um, appreciate you taking the time to listen today. Please visit our Facebook page, our web, our web page at physiciannutrients.com and take a look at the uh, written blogs and other video blogs and thanks for listening.